Hey everybody, April here and I'm back with another furniture makeover. So Chelsea and I found this uh, dresser from Goodwill. It was a little beat up, um, but I knew that I could turn this into something really nice. So the price on this dresser was originally $15, but because the mirrors on the doors were broken, um, the manager actually gave it to us for $13. So we saved a couple of dollars, which isn't bad. So here is the before. So first I'm gonna start off by removing the drawers and removing the mirrored doors. And I'm going to remove the hardware and the other two drawers. So here I'm just trying to remove a pair of the drawer slides so Chelsea can have a nice open space to place her cable boxes and I also need an area to place shelves so that's what I'm doing here. Alright so this is what it's looking like so far. Alright, so you guys know the drill. I'm just going to go ahead and sand down the furniture. I started off with 60 grit sandpaper and I worked my way up to 120 and I smoothed it out and finished it off with uh, 220 grit. And here I'm just trying to repair the damaged wood with some wood putty. And I'm just going to go ahead and continue to sand. And you guys, I highly suggest that while you're sanding down your furniture that you wear safety glasses. You don't want to be a rebel like me because when you're sanding down your furniture, the dust and the sand really gets in your face and it gets in your eyes and it's definitely irritating. So I highly recommend that you guys either wear a mask or protective glasses. Alright, so once I'm done sanding, I'm just going to wipe down the dresser just to remove all of the dust particles. And I'm going to go ahead and begin to prime my furniture. And I'm just going to go ahead and use a spray primer for the areas that are hard to reach. And I did two coats of primer and in between each coat I sanded down the furniture with 220 grit sandpaper. And after I sanded, I wiped it down to remove all of the dust particles. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and begin to paint. So for Chelsea's Entertainment Center, she just wanted a simple classic black, so that's what we went with. Um, but I highly suggest that if you guys are going to DIY a dresser or entertainment center, I recommend that you guys step outside of the box and experiment with color. All right, so here I'm just trying to get all of the last minute details. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the new hardware. And I got these pulls from Home Depot. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my drawers in and apply my shelves. Now for my shelves, all I did was go to Home Depot and I purchased a sheet of wood and I had them cut um, the wood to the size of the shelves that I wanted. And to finish it off, I'm just gonna wipe it down with some Windex and a microfiber towel. And that is it. This is the end product. I love how it came out, but I can honestly say that this dresser took me a very long time because this dresser was huge, but nonetheless, Chelsea loves it. Her husband loves it, and it turned out to be a great focal piece for their living room, and they love their new entertainment center. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share with anyone that may find it helpful, and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.